Hello everyone. Uh, let's start the Pageo training program. Uh, I will try my level best to give you as much as information I can give you for Pageo Online EPC Electronics Parts Catalog. So uh, let's start. How would you go? First of all, we will learn in this demo how to log into Pijo service box which is EPC Pijo, EPC is called service box Pijo service box how to log on to service box okay let's start you will click on your internet explorer and you will file this page everybody in our organization is very much aware of this page we have this page we are soon we are going to change this page I am trying to update this page in the new one so uh, this page is there and you can find here P Pujo service box when you click on this service box another window will appear and it will ask you the username and the password you know everybody has its username and password so you must be having it to use online parts catalog so simply you enter your username and password and click OK. It will take you to the service box. Here you are. Now here sometime, sometime you know at this page when you reach here. Okay, when this page will appear in front of you, it would have a different language here. You can see it is French and uh, for sure none of us understands the French. So you better go this area. It's Mon Profile. It means my profile. You click on it. You come here. It is. It was not French actually. It was Spanish. Mexican or something like that so you select from here drop down menu will appear you go down and you select English United Kingdom when you select this and then you click on validator here when you click automatically this page will turn into English now with this we have learned how to log in to service box which is Pujo electronic part catalog we call it service box how to log on and how to change the language if other than English appears on your desktop by this we understand how to log on and how to change the language next other few videos will explain how to use service box with this we come to the end of this video I hope you learned something from it Thank you, gentlemen. Hello, everyone, again. Uh, in service box, it, several ways are there to find the part number. But first of all, we are try, going to explain how to find the part part number or the part for a certain car with the VIN number, vehicle identification number. So here you can see this area is called VIN area. Here you click and you enter the VIN number yeah let's uh, ha have a win number it's CY 001136 okay then press OK it will take you to the vehicle that's with number we have already entered yes everyone as you can see this win it is auto complete it means that we have given only eight last characters of the win and the rest of the win is being completed by the software or online program itself now this win number that we have entered it was 206 plus five door saloon 1.4 liter now it is manual gearbox okay and date of manufacture is here now it's uh, uh, let, let us uh, see 
yeah here at the end it is done it's date of manufacturing so uh, th these are the information came with the win with the win number that we have entered into the system now uh, with this uh, we can uh, understand and with the win number we can correctly uh, get to the certain this is why we are always uh, we are always emphasizing this thing that one should find out one should search the part number with the win so if you have the win number it would be a correct part number whatever you will identify now in this demo we are going to see the ignition system yeah when you click on ignition you will go to the bottom and you will see that engine spark plug a ignite electric module coil so double click to it when you double click it will appear like this you can maximize it and then you roll over the mouse you want to see what it is yeah when you roll over the mouse it will highlight the part it is number three it is the crew column okay now what we were looking for ignition coil so go to a when you go on a it is showing the part number which is coming in this assembly it is assembly it, that's why all the parts are highlighted a b and c along with both of these and one this one a plus two and b plus c are in one set of these parts so coil with this extensions also four extension with one this coil it is more just one coil and these all are consisting the ignition system so with this we come to know how to find out the part number with the win number once you have the win number you can find out and the similar way you have clutch here gearbox gearbox controls engine assembly you have different sections here engine is here you have gearbox below it then transmission then suspension assembly then steering and brake and then every section has different subsections that you can go and you can see all the parts whatever uh, you are looking for you have to double click and you go now we came to the timing uh, camshaft and timing area so the timing belt and all that so uh, this way we learn in this demo how to uh, this is a gear uh, timing gear housing and uh, sometime because of the slow internet it would take time to load up the picture and the image but don't worry it will come and with this we come uh, to the end of this demo and in this demo we learn how to find out the part number with with the win number once we have it so thank you uh, for watching this uh, demo and I hope you learn from it